few minute um, how to use Padlet. You just you make an account. I'm using my school Gmail. We have templates if we want to make a new one. Um, I just chose wall and I'm going to show you guys my practice one. So you have a little gear up in the corner and that lets us adjust things like the title, the description, um, the background wallpaper. You can include an image of your own. You can just change the color. You can choose color scheme like light or dark, meaning this little box that comes up. Um, you can change the font. It has a, not a lot of options, but a couple. You can give attribution. So the way that you can see my name appear above my little post-it, um, it'll go ahead and sync. So if our like, students use it through their district Gmail, their name will automatically populate on that sticky note for us, which is great. And um, you can choose to have things like comments and likes and stuff on, although I'm going to keep those off for now. And then there's a content filtering. So you can do require approval, meaning everything has to come to us, the teacher before it is seen on the Padlet. If you do not check that, as soon as a kid posts something, it automatically comes up on the Padlet, which can be really cool and like interactive for students. Um, we just wanna make sure that we screen what pops up on there. And then if they were typing responses, there's a way to filter profanity where it drops a cute little emoji over their words. If you wanna avoid that altogether though, you can go to this require approval. Um, so whatever works best for your particular setting. And to add to a Padlet is pretty easy. You start with just a blank screen and you come to this little plus. It's gonna go ahead and generate like a little sticky note for you. And we have a couple options here. However, if we click the three dots, that's gonna give us, here's the full list of things that we could actually do with our Padlet. We can include drawings, we can record our screen, we can include a voice, which is what I'm gonna do. You can do a film, a photo, if you want them to like hold up something for you. Um, a link, maybe share share your favorite song from this week or something like that. You can have them like send you that link in there. So there's a lot of options that the kids can choose to interact with this board and it's gonna put them on that sticky note. For the purpose that I'm doing right now, I actually want to use it as a voice recording tool that automatically sort of pairs with their device. The first time you do it, you have to click like allow to let it pick up your mic. You see it picking up my mic and my air conditioner and all that stuff. It's pretty easy to use after that. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Did my audio. I can choose if that was terrible, I can get rid of it, or I can click play back and save. Check my audio. I don't hear that twice. Cool, my scale. If I'm like, this is beautiful, I'm gonna send it. Boom, save. And from the teacher point of view now, we're gonna see this in two seconds when it actually loads, appear as a little sound wave on our sticky. And so if I'm like, let's see how Shana was doing. Perfect, good job, Shana. And then let's say I was like, you know what, I actually want to save this because we're going to use it for something else. I can go ahead and click that and download the audio and save it for whatever thing. So like in a music standpoint, if I wanted to pull audio to put together some type of recording track, I could do that here. Um, as far as sharing this out to students, it's pretty easy. There's a share button up top. And you can copy a link to a clipboard. And when you copy that link, you just give them that. They click it. And now they have this medium to interact with. Um, QR code, if they were interacting from a phone or an iPad or any type of like camera scanning device, right? Those work too. And then you can also choose the share on Google Classroom, which is going to put that link on Google Classroom for you. And um, if it was like a written response one, you could ex like push all their responses so you have them in a written form. But it's pretty easy to share out. Like I usually just share a link and then people click on it and then they add their own things and ready, set, go. So um, pretty straightforward, easy to use, and honestly kind of solves my issue of having a way to have kids embed audio or video.